The next constraint type I want to consider is the not null constraint. To set up the example, I'm going to create an index, create index fkdapt on empdapt.no. I'm indexing the foreign key column. I'm sure we all know that that is generally considered best practices. Best practice, create indexes on your foreign key columns. Now my query, select count star from emp where depthno is null. I'm trying to find all the employees who are not assigned to a department at all. None of them. The data's good. But how do we run the query? A full scan of emp, applying the filter, depthno is null. That looks reasonable. However, I know the department number has no nulls. So what will happen if I actually tell Oracle about this? Alter table emp modify depth snow, not null. Declare that constraint and then try running the query. Very different plan. They're going to the index, not the table. And that can be a massive saving in execution time. Why is the saving so great? Well, look at the plan in slightly greater detail. Before I declared that constraint, we did a full table scan, which was costed at three cost units. After declaring the scan, the cost of the statement is zero. Why? Because Oracle knows there are no nulls, therefore the query has been rewritten with a predicate, null is not null, which can never be true. Oracle didn't actually do anything at all to generate this result set. The query, in effect, ran instantaneously.